How does the pH of a buffer change when you add a small amount of sodium hydroxide or strong base to it? Well, the answer is that the pH is going to go up because you are adding strong base, but not by as much as you probably expect. When you're dealing with the pHs of buffers, we usually use the henderson hasselbalch equation. The pH equals the pKa plus the log of base over acid. Now, some teachers want you to use the formulas and the concentration terms. You know those things in square brackets for conjugate base and, uh, and acid. Um, but I just write base over acid because I'm also allowed to use the number of moles here, not just the concentrations. Now, I'm going to show you what happens to those numbers of moles. But first, I need to figure out how many moles of conjugate acid and sorry, weak acid and conjugate base I do have here. It's 100 milliliters of buffer, and it's got this concentration of both acetic acid and sodium acetate. The number of moles of each is concentration times volume. The concentration is 0.1 moles per liter, and I have 0.1 liters. So that's 0.01 moles of both the acid and the base. Now, the pKa of acetic acid is 4.75. Some People will say 4.76, but that's the same number. Plus the log of, and I'm starting with 0.01 moles of base and 0.01 moles of acid as well. And I'm just leaving some room here because I'm about to perturb this amount. How much am I going to perturb it by? Well, it depends on how many moles of sodium hydroxide you add. And yes, you do need the number of moles if you're going to do this. The number of moles of sodium hydroxide I'm adding here is one mole per liter times 0 0.001 liters. I divided that by a thousand to get that number, by the way. And so I'm adding 0 0.001 moles of this strong base. Now, what's the effect of adding the strong base on the balance between acid and base? Well, that amount of strong base will neutralize or take away some of the acid. So I'm taking away where the acid goes in the denominator, and it's converting that weak acid directly into conjugate base. So I'm going to add on to the conjugate base term here. Now, the pH before I did that perturbing would have been log of something over itself. That's the log of one, that's zero, so I'm not adding anything. The pH is 4.75 when you have equivalent amounts of acid and base here. But we are going to change it. We're going to add on the log of, now when I add those, I get 0 0.011. When I take that away, I get 0 0.009. Now I'm gonna do that on my calculator. I got, 0 0.011 divided by 0 0.009, I get 1.222. And I'm going to take the log of that. Now that gives me a positive number. So I'm going to be adding 0 0.09 approximately onto this. And that makes sense because the pH is supposed to go up, especially when I decrease the denominator and increase the numerator of the thing I'm logging. When I add 4.75 to that, I end up with about 4.84. And yes, the pH did rise because I added a base, but not by as much as you might have thought. In fact, it's changing by less than 0.1 pH units. Wow. The moral of the story here is that to calculate a new pH after you add a strong base, you're going to need to know the numbers of moles of your weak acid and conjugate base that you started with. Then you're going to need to perturb those amounts by adding and subtracting the number of moles of strong base that you added. Don't forget you're going to add on to the base number and you're going to take away from the acid number. That should leave you with a positive number after you log it in the henderson hasselbalch equation and your pH should have risen just a little bit. He, or buffers are resistant to changes in pH, although, of course, if you add so much sodium hydroxide that you get rid of all the weak acid, then you don't even have a buffer anymore, and so you can't use this equation, 
And of course, your pH is going to rise by quite a lot. Buffers, by definition, have some conjugate acid and base, a conjugate acid base pair in it so that it can absorb and re-equilibrate to kind of temper changes that in pure water would have been much more jarring. That's the moral of the story here. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.